Hi guys, I'm going to be doing a review of the Fos4 watch. Um, you can get these off of Fos4watches.com, I'll put a link in the description. And as you can see at the start, I have the nice watch. It is a silicon band I believe. I think that's what it says here. Yep, and so I'll quickly go through how you get through the modes. But, just put that to the side. Before we get into that, we obviously need a manual. And I don't see why they've hidden it, but it's a nice little compact place. Got the instructions right there. Nice box as well. If it gets all crushed in that, it won't. It's nice and thick and big. Just quickly move that out of the way. Okay, so here's the manual. And obviously it's safe for the metal version as well. This version costs $99 and in pounds that's 65. The metal ones I think cost up to around around 150, I think. So just put that there. And then this is the manual sheet as you can see. There's a picture of I think the metal one. And then in this top right corner it says that the case type it's stainless steel. Not sure if it is, but you know, case thickness, case width, lens type of, is curved mineral glass. It's water resistant and sweat resistant, and it can and it displays the world time calendar and enlarge and small and world time. As you can see down here, it tells you how to do it, as in double tap which button. There's only two buttons, but it is goddamn complicated. And here you have black and white versions, whichever you prefer. It, it comes in orange, white and black. And so this is how you change it. So here, I believe that is dual time. So see, we have all here. Just quickly show you. At the bottom, it has all the countries. So, or places, I guess, like New York, Chicago, London, Sydney, Paris, Moscow. And so here you can see the time and that. I'll show you how to do that later. And swiping that way changes it from black and white to white and black, as you just saw. And swiping from that button to that way it changes to um, the, I think that's called the default time. But yeah, that's how you saw the big clock. So you can see the time is 10.59. And then here we have the time slash calendar. So that's the date there. It is currently Sunday. The date, the second, the 12th of the 2nd. So the 12th of February. And the time is basically 11. And so, yep, that changes when it gets to an hour. And then here we just have big time. So, you know, just 11 on dot. Small time, I don't see what the purposes of these are, but, you know, if you want it smaller, then have it smaller. And then back to London time. And you can switch this, I think, by, I'm not sure, double tapping. I think so. Well, it, it's really comp. Yeah, see, there you go, double tap that one. And then just keep on pressing this one to go through all the country times so like on the display dual time so yeah that is a really nice watch it's really soft it, I think it is silicon it was says on this piece of paper here battery case here when you have it when you have it on your wrist you don't particularly feel that it's really nice it can fit right on your wrist it, it it's not one of those watches that annoys like gets irritant it's actually a really soft band to wear and so yeah that was the watch that is a really nice watch um it, it's obviously the e-ink display so that's it, it's really nice um not much else to say apart from just showing you this little square here quickly you can see the dual time which is which and it tells you what to do to get to that so as you see the A button swipe, B button swipe. So yeah, that's the dual time with the 
country or capital you're in. Time and calendar, Monday, big time, small time. And world time. Don't see why they have so many times on, but it's nice. So, that is my little review on the Phosphor um, e-ink display watch. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please stay tuned for more videos that I'll do. And please give this a like. So And yeah, see you later guys.